Meet the RoboMaster S1, the smart educational robot that opens up a whole new world of learning. Experience fast-paced driving action, whether you're by yourself or with a friend. Something in the way? Check this out. With the Mechanum wheels, your movement options are limitless. From the brushless motor to the front axle suspension, every inch of the S1 is jam-packed with advanced technologies. With the included interactive curriculum, anyone can learn how to code. Teach it to move, recognize shapes, and a whole lot more. Apply math and physics and take your S1 to the next level. On the battlefield, dominate your competition with the infrared beam. Use mystery bonus abilities to get an edge, like this. And if that's not enough, experience real rapid-fire action with the Gel Bead Blaster. Pressure-sensitive sensors let the S1 feel every impact. In a tight spot, no problem. Outwit your foe by coding a custom move. And when you've run out of opponents in your backyard, you just might be ready for DJI RoboMaster, the world's toughest international robotics competition. With the RoboMaster S1, Education and entertainment become one and the same. So power up and learn to win. How you safely treat a wound should be determined by wound cause, severity, and access to medical help. It's important to know when to leave a wound open. Animal bites, crushing injuries, and deep punctures are all at high risk for infection. So in these cases, packing the wound with gauze instead of closing may be a better choice. Zip stitch may be used on minor cuts and lacerations. Clean your hands with soap and water or antiseptic wipes. Control bleeding by applying firm, direct pressure to the wound. Bleeding must be controlled before the wound can be treated. Next, clean the wound to prevent infection. Remove any large fragments of foreign debris from the wound and irrigate the wound thoroughly with water to flush out any remaining debris from inside the wound. Dry the wound and surrounding skin with clean gauze. If a zip stitch is used, the skin surrounding the wound must be completely clean and dry in order for the adhesive to stick well. Place zip stitch over wound, pressing the adhesive firmly on both sides of the wound. Gently pinch the wound closed while pulling on the straps. Don't overclose the wound. Stop when the edges of the wound touch. If you have clean scissors available, you may cut the excess straps. Apply a protective dressing over the wound. 
It is important to prevent dressing adhesive from touching the zip stitch device so that it is not removed or damaged when the dressing is changed or removed. Zip stitch can be kept on the wound for up to seven days if needed. When you can't stitch it, zip it. Revolve, the wheel in a new form.